If you're looking for a tripod to shoot your YouTube videos, then I might have the perfect tripod for you coming up. You gotta just press record. Hey, my name is Nolan Moult with Think Media, and today we're looking at a really cool tripod that comes in at $80. It's the Geekodo AT24 Pro tripod. Today, I'm gonna tell you all the pros, all the cons, and stay tuned for the very end of the video when I tell you exactly who this tripod is for and who it's not for. Also, you can find the current price for this tripod by clicking the link in the description below. Let's get started with this review of the Geekodo tripod. You can see that it comes in a bag that's small, it's compact, really good for just carrying around and traveling with. And so that is definitely just a nice feature to have the bag. Inside, we actually get the tripod. <laughs> Should I do something like that? So let's set up this tripod and I'm gonna show you some of the cool features that I love about this. You can see right here, the legs just come right up. And then you're gonna notice, this is something a little bit different about this tripod, is that it has this kind of long neck and it actually even extends a lot more. So this tripod actually goes from 19 inches all the way up to 77 inches, which I think is about six foot four inches, which is perfect. One of the things that I absolutely need in a tripod is something that is gonna be tall enough to get that eye level distance, because that's what looks good on video, is if your camera is at eye level. Sometimes if the camera's too low or too high, it can look really weird. And so eye level is perfect for shooting those YouTube videos. And if you're tall and you're standing up, you're gonna have no issues getting this thing to eye level. And on the legs here, we have three clips here, so it's actually really quick to just fully extend this tripod all the way out, and then you snap them back on. And that's nice when you're in a hurry and you just need to be quick and get your tripod going. And so that's one of the things that I love about this tripod is those clips make it really easy to set it up and to tear down quickly. So moving on to the top of this tripod, we have this thing right here, which is called a ball head. And really all that means is that this little ball right here is at the head of the tripod. Why that is so cool is because you can loosen the ball head and you're able to move this around and get the perfect level with the little bubble right here lets you know that when your camera is level. So you can get it level even if you're maybe on a hill shooting, shooting a video. You can see that it still stays level. And so if I go like that, you tighten the ball head and you're still going to get a level shot. On the ball head, you also notice that all these things are twist locks. And so this one is for the ball head. This one right here is actually for panning. And it has a really nice pan. If you go like this, it's really smooth. It feels like it's almost like a fluid head type of movement. And I really like that about this tripod. A downside is that you can't do that same fluid motion movement with tilting. This ball head also allows you to shoot vertical video. You just loosen the ball head right here, turn it on its side, tighten it back up and here you can shoot your IGTV videos, your Instagram stories, any sort of vertical videos you can shoot with this tripod. And moving back down to the legs, I'm gonna show you how this works with setting up the legs. And so once you get them fully extended, you have this little press down right here and you can set it to three different levels. So here would be the first way to set it up and then the legs can actually spread out even wider if you wanna get more of a stable tripod placement. So how you do that is you just press down, you move it to this next notch and you just do that, it's pretty quick. You just do that with uh, all three of them. And here you can see that it is spread super wide. So if you need your tripod to do that, of course this tripod can, and it even goes one notch wider. So the tripod legs are set up how I like it. And you can see here that we can take this tripod pretty high. At first it looks like it's not gonna go that high, but you have these two twist locks. And if you loosen the bottom one first, you can tighten it. It's pretty high. I'm like, this is gonna be eye level for me. I'm six foot one, and this thing is definitely gonna do the job for getting an eye level shot if I'm standing up shooting a YouTube video. But if you're taller than me, I know some of you might be, it goes even higher. And that's one of the things that I love. And another cool thing about being able to have a tripod that goes this tall is that maybe you could use it in a church setup or an event setup and you need to go over the heads of people and record someone on a stage. This tripod might be the tripod for you. Keep in mind though that when you have your camera up on this tripod, it's gonna be a bit more shaky, a bit more unstable. And so I recommend keeping this as low as you can. Um, this usually does the job for me. This is gonna be more stable. 
But if it is shaky and you're worried about your camera falling over, there is a nice little feature down here with the hook and you can add a weight right there and you can get a weight on Amazon for just a few bucks. Links are gonna be in the description for everything we're talking about here, but that is a really nice feature to have. So you don't have to worry about the tripod actually falling over. If you got a weight right here, center of gravity, everything's gonna be fine. So this tripod is pretty light. You can still get some curls in, but it's only 3.37 pounds. You might not get that buff doing curls with it, but it does hold up to 17.6 pounds. So if you have a DSLR camera, a mirrorless camera, even some heavier lenses like I do, this thing's gonna do the job perfectly. A really cool feature about this tripod is you can invert it and shoot top down bird's eye view if you need that for your YouTube videos. Now in our last tripod video, a lot of the Think Media community asked if they could use their smartphones on this kind of a tripod. And the answer is yes. In order to do that, you just need a smartphone adapter. And we're gonna have a link to that in the description. And then that adapter allows you to attach this quick release plate, which then goes on the tripod and you can use your smartphone just like any other camera with this tripod. Now, if you're shooting videos on your smartphone, then I really recommend that you click on this card and watch this video right here where Sean shows you the best accessories to use for your smartphone and then that cage that they use in that video you can connect to this tripod or to any other tripod that you have i'm going to share my favorite thing about this tripod that most tripods on the market do not even do but this thing does but before i do make sure you like this video and comment down below what kind of youtube videos do you post or what kind do you want to post let us know in the comments below. So the thing about this tripod that most tripods don't do and is my favorite feature is that it turns into a monopod. I'm so used to carrying my tripod and my monopod around and so it's so useful, especially for traveling, that I have both of those things in one. So how you turn this tripod into a monopod is you grab the leg with the foam pad and you turn it counterclockwise and then you can take the ball head, screw that off and there's a screw inside and those are literally the three pieces you need. You connect them all, put your camera on top and you have a monopod. Now all those features that I listed are pros for this tripod, but one of the cons that I mentioned earlier was the tilting. So if you're needing to get some tilting shots in your videos, I'd recommend to look elsewhere in a different tripod, but I'm telling you this is the best budget tripod for YouTubers. I think it's a great tripod for photographers. It's great for people who are traveling or need to... Oh. <laughs> what, what are you doing? What are you doing in the bag? That's my tripod bag. So if you do buy this tripod, you notice that squirrels will um, want to crawl inside of it. Oh! If you're looking to get as much out of your tripod as you can with your money, I definitely recommend getting this. It's gonna be the best tripod for YouTubers, for people who are traveling, photographers. It's so versatile that you really can't go wrong by picking one of these up. If you're looking to get some other gear for your YouTube videos, but you're not sure what to get, then head over to thinkgearguide.com and you can find the best gear for your budget. <laughs>